Hi guys, this is Milk and Coffee Adventures. In today's episode, I will walk you through the Mini Motors iTrottles feature and P settings that is currently on my Kaava Wolf King. So stay tuned on the video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe and the notification bell button so you'll be updated on my latest videos and updates. <music> So the Mini Motors iThrottle uh, or the iThrottle display is actually popular and officially being used by Speedway, Dualtron, and the Kaabo electric scooters. In my case, both of my Wolf Warrior and uh, my Wolf King are currently using this type of uh, throttle display. So without further ado, let's see what's on the iThrottle display. So basically guys, this is the whole looks of the iThrottle itself. I don't think it's available in other colors, it's only black and the display light is uh, usually green. This is the trigger or the accelerator trigger. So you know what it does and just pull it to start rolling. There are three buttons uh, right here. So the first one is the power button. So if your scooter doesn't have a key ignition or a finger scanner this is going to be the on and off switch of your scooter on the other hand uh, this is the settings button this controls the number right here so if you press it you'll be able to change the speed mode to number one two and three basically this controls the speed of your scooter if it's at number one, it will limit your scooter to a certain speed. But if it's on number three, it will give you the max output of your scooter. Here in the Philippines, we call this uh, gear one, two, and three. But again, basically, this is just a speed limiter and this is what you press uh, if you want to change it. Meanwhile, this button here is called the mode button. What, is, what it does is it changes what you want to see here in the lower part of the display. And there are actually five options available. First one is the time. Uh, this tells you how long your scooter is on. Next one is the odometer. This tells you the overall running kilometers or miles of your scooter. Next one is the trip. It's almost the same as the odometer except this can be reset by holding the, the settings mode for 2 to 3 seconds. You can use this to monitor the current mileage of your trip. And then if you want to reset it again, just press the settings mode. There you go, I've reset it. Then we have this one. Uh, this is the charging cycles. It tells you how many times your scooter has completed a charging cycle. And also the voltmeter. Uh, this is a good and more accurate way to, or alternative way to monitor your remaining battery power, especially if you know the level of the voltage of your scooter when it's full or about to cut off. This should tell you more about the remaining battery in your scooter compared to the uh, to the bars or the percentage. These are actually the basics of these uh, buttons. Later, I will discuss you the advanced settings, which are the P settings. But before we proceed to that, let's check the let's check first what you see in the LCD screen. So, in the LCD screen, the most prominent. Uh, the most prominent one you will see here is the speedometer. These are the two numbers here. And the metric system that you see or that you use here, whether it's uh, kilometers or miles per hour. Here in the Philippines, we use kilometer metric system. 
The other prominent number here is the one we've discussed earlier, which is the speed mode settings. Then right here, we have the battery bars and percentage. And these here, um, we've discussed this earlier. Uh, these are the time, the odometer, and the trip meter, charging cycle, and also the voltage meter. And for this ones, actually, uh, there, there are invisible warnings and error signs of, on the top most part of the LCD screen. I will just uh, flash the images on the screen right now so so you know what are those. I haven't encountered those errors before except for the brake sensor uh, but it's pretty good that the eye throttle uh, could indicate those errors and warnings on your scooter. And I guess that's basically it for the LCD or LE, yeah, LCD screen. Now let's proceed with the key settings. So the key settings is the advanced settings of the eye throttle, and we actually have 14 key settings. That is P0 to P9, and then PA to PD. To access it, uh, you have to press the mode button for two to three seconds. And there we go. And while pre uh, and while on the P settings screen, you can use the dot button or the settings button to adjust all the P settings. Just a warning, the first four P settings which are the P0 to P3, it should not be modified. It should be fixed on how it is set when you unbox your scooter. But if you accidentally adjust it, I'll just explain the P settings to you so you know how to revert it back. Okay, so the P0 refers to the tire diameter of your scooter. So if your scooter is has an 11 inches tire, then it should be 11. You should see 11 here. If it's 10 inches, it should be 10. P1 is the system uh, voltage. My Wolf King is uh, 72 volts. That's why you see it set on 72. So if your scooter has 60 volts, then you should see 60 here. So P2 is the number of your motor magnets. I believe it should be default at 15. P3, I don't know exactly what it is. It is the signal selection and it should be set at zero. Again, these first four settings, the P0, P1, P2, and P3, uh, it should be fixed as it is, and so don't change it. Okay, P4 can change the metric system you use on your scooter. In my case here in the Philippines, uh, we use uh, kilometers, that's why it is on zero. If you're using miles, then you should put it in number one. As you can see, it changes right here. So I'll just leave it on zero. P5 is the kickstart settings. If you like your scooter to go right away when you pull the trigger, then it should be in zero. Just be very uh, cautious about it. But if you're like me who like to play it safe and want a kick and go settings, then it should be in number one. P6 is the cruise control. So for this one, zero is off and one is on and if it's on cruise control allows you to maintain a speed automatically without continuing to hold the trigger so let's say if you're on a highway and you keep your trigger steady for three to five seconds and running you're running around uh, 30 kilometers per hour the cruise control will kick in and you will be able to let go the throttle and the scooter will travel constantly at that speed. The only time the cruise control will stop or cancel is once you hit the brake. P7 is the slow start settings. It changes the initial acceleration of your scooter. It has a value from 0 to 5 where the 0 is the default or max start, meaning you'll be using 100% of, your, of the power of your scooter during the acceleration. 
and as you increase the settings, the slower the scooter will accelerate. T8 is default at 100%. This means that your scooter will reach 100% of your speed limit. If you put it on 75%, you feel a 25% sudden drop on your speed limit. And if you put it less than 10%, you'd barely move your scooter. Then proceeding to P9, P9 is the torque control. So one is max torque control, where you can only use the 50% max power of your scooter. And then number two is mid torque control. That means you can only use the 75% of your max power and number three is to turn off your torque control meaning you can use the 100 percent power of your scooter if you're planning to save battery on your ride uh, you might as well adjust these settings pa is the electric brake strength it also uh, it is also the power generative settings you can control its uh, strength from zero uh, meaning the e-brake and regenerative power is off while one is the weakest brake and regenerative setting and five as the strongest e-brake and regenerative settings PB is the LCD display brightness settings so you can just uh, set it to 0 to 5 depends on your preference so I'll just put it on 1 PC is the auto shutdown settings. The number you see here refers to minutes, meaning this one is uh, shutting down if I don't use it in five minutes. So it's like the screensaver setup from your uh, from your computers. So PD is the ABS or the auto braking system. Uh, its value is one or zero where zero is off and one is on. I usually turn this one off because the vibration it produces is pretty annoying and it creates a sound like bro, 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 every time you hit the brake. So for my preferred setup, it depends on what type of ride I'm up to. So I have different setup, for example, if I on, during my typical days or city ride, I have a different uh, different setup for that. It's more like tame, and but it still gives me the speed that I want. If I'm riding with my, let's say my friends, and it is a really speedy ride, um, I use a different settings for that. And if I am into a enduro ride or a very long ride, I also uh, have a different settings for that. I'll just display it on the screen right now and also on the description down below so you'll know what are those setups. Okay guys, that's it for the Mini Motor iTrottles features and settings. And if you have questions or comment about what I've discussed, please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be updated on my latest updates. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.